Item number, SCP-415. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-415 is to be kept in standard living quarters, with freedom of movement while with an armed guard. Guards and monitoring staff are to be stationed by the living area, and all activity deviating from the daily norm is to be recorded. Requests for simple luxuries have been authorized, and thus far, such requests have been for reading material. This policy should continue as long as SCP-415 remains cooperative. Personnel interacting with SCP-415 show a particular risk of succumbing to sympathetic or emotional attachment. Due to this effect, the staff assigned to SCP-415 should be rotated every 30 days. Description SCP-415 is a 176.9 cm tall Caucasian male of 36 years. He has blue eyes, receding brown hair, and appears to be human. Subject exhibits an average IQ and a relatively stable personality given his situation. He is cooperative with on-site staff, though is nervous around medical equipment and personnel. SCP-415 seems to possess a regenerative healing ability focusing on tissue and organ regrowth. This ability is most pronounced concerning his internal organs, particularly the liver, spleen, pancreas, and colon. Skeletal breaks have been observed to heal faster than the human norm, but slower than soft organs. The subject has shown the ability to survive with organs that have suffered severe damage or been completely removed. The damaged or missing organs will regrow and become fully healthy and functioning within a period of one to three months. Despite subject's near immortality thanks to this process, he has shown a completely normal immune system and has been affected by the common cold and influenza with completely unremarkable results. SCP-415's body has undergone several radical alterations performed by an unknown third party. Subject has several zippers surgically installed on his body, one curved from his left armpit to the skin over his stomach, one centered directly over the heart, and two installed parallel to each other on the gut. Further physical anomalies have been observed that were later found to have been removed or resolved over time. Most of the torso was covered by a loose flap of skin that could be lifted at any time and was pinned on by three safety pins and a sewing button. This anomaly remained for 63 days. Several long lines of stitches crudely placed with thick black thread of unknown material, raising the surface of the skin by more than a centimeter in some places. A particularly noticeable stitching began on the small of the back and continued up the side until the fourth rib. From here it passed over the neck and forked into two branches, ending on the shoulders. In an accident where he was struck with some force, this stitching was severed. The entire left side ripped open and almost all the internal organs spilled out. There was evidence that this stitching was undone and replaced numerous times over a period of nine months, despite constant observation. At the end of this period, all stitches vanished and subjects showed no evidence of their existence. A steel lining was found inserted in between the solid bones of the skull. If a sharp object like a scalpel or knife was slid through and some pressure applied, the structure would allow the top of his skull to be removed. This mechanism remains in place at present, but is largely unnoticeable to the casual observer. It has been consistently observed by staff assigned to SCP-415 that before one of these physical modification anomalies, the subject will enter a state of extreme panic and heightened strength accompanied by frantic screaming. At a point during this panicked state, the subject will undergo a phase where the environment within 2.5 meters of the subject will warp, displaying what has been described by observing staff as alien landscapes, operating rooms, oversized organic anatomy, and in one instance, an amusement park. The subject will then vanish from our reality for a period of time ranging from 0.25 seconds to the longest recorded time of 3 seconds. Upon reappearance of the subject, a new modification will be present, 
with occasional repeats of past modifications. Subject is unable to explain where he is taken to during these attacks at any given time, but is firm in stating his duration of departure is significantly longer than his recorded departure time, upwards of several years in some cases. Addendum 4151 SCP-415 had been in a state of movement across the United States for approximately two and a half years, allegedly hitchhiking, staying in the wilderness, and living sporadically in small towns. Although no full record of his activities exist, information from interviews and first-hand civilian reports have provided a partial travel map. He was first sighted in New England, fleeing along the east coast of the U.S then traveled almost directly into the heart of the Midwest, before wandering in a rough circle around that area, participating in farm work and manual labor. According to SCP-415, he was running from an organization that he believes to be hunting him, presumably to sell his organs on the black market. The Foundation came in contact with SCP-415 after he turned himself into the FBI, asking for protection from this unknown organization. SCP-415 was intercepted and contained while in transport to an asylum after turning violent upon his requests being declined. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-414. Regardless, I might prefer myself sick right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.